Smelly water has residents in Anderson County concerned. The problems are affecting many parts of the county, and News 13's Evan Donovan dug in today to find out what's causing those issues. Evan, how bad is it? Well, Frank, it's certainly not very tasty, I'll tell you that, but the uh, head of the Regional Water Authority says it's perfectly safe to drink. If you've been to parts of Anderson County in the past month or so, you may have noticed the tap water smells and tastes a little off. Tastes like the bottom of the lake. Andrew Dial works outdoors on a crane. Yeah, I drink a lot of water. When he came in for lunch today at El Patron, he had to send the tap water back and bring in his own bottle. In restaurants, yeah, I drink water because it's free. When I can't get that for free, what am I going to get to drink? You know, so bottle of water I brought in. I do drink sweet tea, you know, but I have to disguise it with a lot of lemon. I couldn't even finish a cup of coffee the other morning. I couldn't even, I just poured it out. I poured the whole pot out. It is a big problem. Rafael Arroyo manages El Patron and is upset that the water issues are affecting his customers and his bottom line. Some customers, when, when they come in, they ask if the water's got a funny taste. The water smells and tastes a little earthy, almost like dirt. Here at the Pompous Pig, they've invested in a filtration system. This filters the water before it goes to their tea and to their soda machines. And taste-wise, it makes a really big difference. Water is safe. Scott Willett is the executive director of the Anderson Regional Joint Water System. He says the smell and taste starts with the excessive rainwater in Lake Hartwell over the past 18 months. And those rains flushed lots of nutrients into our lake. So with nutrients in the lake, if we add sunlight, we get algae growth. Um, and algae itself is what uh, causes or creates the compounds that we're now tasting. Now, well, that says that the regional water system is working on a carbon-based solution that will adsorb some of that algae and treat it so that it's a little bit easier on the nose and on the palate. In the meantime, he says, if you use any kind of carbon-based filtration system in your house or in your business, that should help until they're able to get rid of that smell and taste. Reporting live from the Greenville News Center, I'm Evan Donovan, News 13.